Hello and welcome to My Security TV. My name is Chris Cubbage and I'm at the Marriott Hotel in Sydney. I'm joined by Mark Gowdy, the Managing Principal of the Asia Pacific for Verizon. Mark, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Chris. Mark, you've just published the 2011 Data Breach Investigations Report. Uh, tell us all about it. All about it. It's, uh, it's a tough question to start with, Chris. Uh, but it's, a, it's an amalgamation of data that we've aggregated across uh, 1,700 computer forensic investigations. Uh, it's a joint uh, study between ourselves, United States Secret Service, and Dutch High Tech Crime. As we go through each of, the, each of those uh, computer forensic investigations and plot uh, over 100 data points for each, uh, each of those investigations, and then we try and look at the commonalities and the, the common computer security failings uh, through all those investigations to give uh, customers and, uh, and interested parties a lot of uh, real world lessons learned. It's a bit like uh, an air crash investigation. Yep. You, you look at where things go bad so you can improve next time. This and, the... and, and, and much like the airlines, do you find that it is one small uh, in, integral part that can cause a major breach uh, or the simple things? <laughs> Absolutely. It, it's like you've, you've got right to the end of the report already, Chris. Right. One, of the, one, of the, one of the key recommendations that we do make is to do the simple things, do those common security essentials all the time, everywhere and consistently. The very fact that organisations have these uh, areas where they're extremely good in security and other areas where they're not so good in security and by the very nature of uh, the attacker defender model, the attackers have the uh, numerical advantage in that they're looking all the time, whereas the defender, you've got to defend everywhere all the time. Exactly it's a much right. harder position. They're always uh, looking for that weakest link, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And if they can exploit that one weakest link, and it is usually something very, very simple. The only time that we do tend to see highly sophisticated attacks is not, it's not the method of, uh, of entry that's sophisticated, is typically the methods of stealing data and the methods for maintaining access that are sophisticated. The uh, initial point of entry that would have stopped the whole data breach from happening in the first place is typically very low tech. But this has been an ongoing trend over for some time. Yeah. Uh, how many years has this report been going? This is over. This is aggregated data over six years. Okay. And uh, that very fact has not changed. Some of the uh, the ways in which uh, attackers are breaking into organisations are still web application security failings, remote access security failings, stolen login credentials. They're very, very few attacks are highly sophisticated. Uh, don't get me wrong, they do happen, but it's a bit like reading the news. The spectacular stuff makes the news. Mm -hmm. It's not the average everyday thing that makes the news and the things that people start to think about, uh, nation state attacks and multiple zero day vulnerabilities being exploited to break into an organisation and steal data or, or commit some type of uh, you know, badness, that stuff does happen. But this is the very, very, very minor part of the And it's affecting small investing. businesses and individuals. Small yeah. business, yeah. The, the, the payoff is uh, you know, from an attacker to put that type of level of sophistication into breaking into a small business. It just doesn't, just the economics of it is broken. Yeah. It just, well, no one would do it.